Good morning, I'm Grace Lee. Let's look at your top stories for this Thursday. Governor Josh Green has a new nominee to head the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. It is former DHHL director Kali Watson. He led the agency from 1995 to 1998. Green's previous nominee, Ikaika Anderson, withdrew after a Senate committee voted not to recommend his confirmation. Despite a lull in COVID patients, Hawaii's hospitals are still at capacity. The Honolulu Star Advertiser reports that as of yesterday, there are more than 2,500 patients currently receiving care in the state. Pre-pandemic, Hawaii was averaging about 2,000 patients. The current weekly statewide average of COVID patients is now 47. It's the first time that it's been below 50 in nearly a year. It's not the increase in other hospitalizations is partially due to deferred care during the pandemic, as well as an aging population and understaffed long-term care facilities. The Healthcare Association of Hawaii is working with the state to provide local nursing homes with outside help to nursing homes to help free up some of those beds. The city set to release aid to Oahu families struggling to make ends meet. The Honolulu City Council approved $25 million to fund the city's rental and utility relief program, which is for low-income residents who are behind on their payments. More than 8,000 residents applied for the program last year, and it's projected that just over 4,200 households will be provided aid with a maximum of $2,500 each. The Honolulu Civil Beat reports the money will be dispersed directly to landlords and utility companies. Okay. Uh, Grace, windy conditions are taking over the state. Now, that big storm system is moving away, so we're not going to see heavy rainfall. However, there are bands of clouds upstream of the state embedded with showers, so we'll see some passing showers favoring windward sides from time to time, and those showers will favor those overnight and early morning hours. And because the winds will run breezy, some of those windward showers will drift over to leeward sides every now and then. But still, at best, rainfall totals will be at moderate levels. So today we're expecting lots of afternoon sunshine. It is it's going to be a windy day today with winds running up to 15 to 25 miles an hour. And basically, what we see today will continue unchanged for the next several days. Now, also because of those winds, we have elevated surf rolling into the east shore.